Well, there's a lot of things that I love coming about coming to work. I mean, I think I uh, you know enjoy taking care of my patients. I think that they're uh, the reason that we do all of this. Um, uh, I think it's a meaningful uh, you know endeavor that you know that we're embarking upon. So he was a young gentleman who had intractable epilepsy, meaning that he was having seizures uh, regardless of medical therapy, and so uh, he was. It was severely affecting both his, you know his life and his cognitive abilities. Uh, because of that, he was a candidate to have electrodes placed over the surface of his brain to identify where those seizures are coming from. And that during that period of time, when he had the electrodes over the surface of his brain, we basically had him do various tasks. Uh, basically moving his hand, moving his tongue, moving a uh, joystick. And then we basically decoded those signals from his brain that actually told us he's moving his tongue, he's moving his hand, he wants to move up, he wants to move left, he wants to move right. Um, and then we allowed him to basically control a cursor on a screen with the intention, the imagined movements the, of his tongue or his hand or the joystick so that he could actually control a, um, a, a cursor on a screen with his thoughts alone. The experiment doesn't help his seizures. Basically, it's a purely neuroscientific uh, exploration to what we can do with uh, you know, the, this brain activity. Now, where it does have significant implications is in brain mapping. Uh, because again, when we're doing uh, various surgeries for epilepsy, for brain tumors, even vascular lesions, which are around important areas of the brain, very commonly we want to know exactly where, for instance, uh, your motor area is or your speech areas, and these techniques of decoding the brain can really help facilitate us uh, in terms of identifying a functional site relative to what that abnormal pathology is. So that if we can do a better job of localizing and finding important sites that we don't want to hurt, it really enhances our strength and ability to resect and take out uh, things that we need to remove from the brain uh, because they're causing problems.